Hey there, friends. It's Lynn Limburg of the Health and Fitness Motivation Podcast. And today I'm talking about salad, dra- salad dressing replacements. But I got to tell you, today's April 20th, 2021. And uh, literally maybe 10 minutes before I recorded this, the announcement of the George Floyd verdict came out. Um, and, and it just caught me and I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this really quick before I do my recording. And now I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. It's just, you know, the whole thing is sobering. And I thought, oh, I need to address this. And then I thought, well, what am I going to say? And, and then I thought, well, like, I can't think of the right thing to say at all. And as you guys know, I am just not a fan of cancel culture at all. I'm not a fan of overinflated things. I am a huge fan of being kind and compassionate to everyone in our lives. I'm a huge fan of staying open-minded and um, really just treating everybody that we come in contact with um, empathy and kindness. And so I'm not going to armchair this one at all. I'm not going to do any great big huge uh, pronouncements except that, um, except that, wow, you know, life sometimes is just crazy and it's tough. And uh, yeah, yeah. So with that, I'm going to do a really incredibly awkward transition over to salad dressings. (laughs) Oh my gosh, doesn't even seem right. Uh, and you hear me hesitating here in my voice a little bit because it, in some ways it doesn't seem right. In other ways, I also know that taking good care of ourselves and our bodies, um, is important and, and yes, we show empathy. Yes, we do what we can. And yes, we be kind and send our, our heart felt out to everybody and anybody who's suffering in any way. Absolutely. And at the same time, in that duality there is the acknowledgement that it's still okay to take care of ourselves and beating up ourselves or putting ourselves down or just, you know, diving for the martini or the ice cream um, as a, as a, way of showing solidarity. Yeah, it's confusing. It's complicated, isn't it? But by doing any of that, it, it it doesn't help us in our health. And really, we need to be healthy. Everybody needs to be healthy, as healthy as we can, so we can have the energy to make those good decisions and help other people. So, <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let's eat some more vegetables here. Let's eat some more salad. (laughs) What today's episode is, or the second half of today's episode, is just a little ditty to help you get excited about all different kinds of ways you can eat your salad. And in this case, what I'm talking about is taking two cups of any kind of greens, any kind of greens. I don't care. You just essentially go to the grocery store or the farmer's market or wherever, you know, wherever you buy your greens. And pretty much buy whatever looks the freshest and the yummiest. That's really what it comes down to. And everybody has different uh, sense of what is fresh or yummy. Everybody has a different access or ability to to get that kind of produce and be able to even tell if it's fresh or yummy. Um, yeah, yeah. So salad dressing replacements. A lot of times our salad dressings have a ton of sugar in them. Um, and a ton of unhealthy fats. A lot of them have those canola oils or vegetable oils that really aren't good for us and cause um, inflammation. And that's a detail we're not really going to talk about in much detail. But I have found that the more time I eat salads, I absolutely love putting non-salad dressing things on my greens that make those salads really yummy. So here's a couple ideas. And we're just thinking just in general in context of just plain greens. And then you can add more to it if you want. Uh, One of my favorites is orange juice. Yeah, I take an orange, cut it in half, squeeze it on top of my salad. Yummy. Maybe orange juice squeezed with a little bit of salt. Yum, yum, yum. Another one, completely different. So don't do this at the same time. 
V8 juice or tomato juice. Yeah, seriously, if you have a savory salad, or maybe you make a taco salad for dinner, put a little tomato juice on and have that be your salad dressing. So yummy. Fried egg. We talked about this one before. This is one, if you haven't tried it, you've got to try it. Fry up an egg, make it a little bit runny yolk, and then just plop that hot egg right on top of your salad and chop it up and let that egg yolk be your salad dressing. You will love it. You'll be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. When you try these, you'll say, wow, this is actually the way salad's supposed to taste. I'm, I'm eating food on top of food, not greens with gross stuff on it to hide the greens. Uh, here's another one, a ripe avocado. You'd be amazed. Slice a little avocado on and put a little salt on that avocado and then just make sure you have a little bit of avocado in each one of your bites. You won't even miss your salad dressing. Hummus is another one, especially if you have tomatoes in your salad. Or you can put hummus in and smash some tomatoes and put them in your um, salad also or blend up a tomato and put it in your salad. Um, I get nervous saying blend up a tomato because that's so much more work. Uh, okay, more and more. Here we go. Smashed berries, any kind of smashed berries. You can take frozen berries and let them thaw and they're like all goopy and gross anyway. <laughs> they're really good on a salad. That's right. Or take your greens, squeeze a little lemon and lime juice on it. Or if that seems too potent, take a little lemon and lime juice in with a little tiny bit of water and just throw that on your salad. Yummy, yummy. Okay. I already said hummus. Okay. Here's my last one. I bet you none of you do this. Peanut butter. Okay. What? Okay. So you either need to take peanut butter and add a little water to it and stir it up till it's kind of like a salad dressing texture or any kind of nut butter, but that's a lot of work. So what I like to do is there's this thing called PB Fit, which is essentially a peanut butter powder with less of the oils of the peanuts in it. It's a powder. Take that powder, add a little bit of water so it's all nice and runny, throw that on your greens as your salad dressing. Oh my gosh, seriously so good. So friends, I hope uh, this will help you to just really think outside of the box when it comes to salads and we're like, oh, I don't want to do a salad anymore. It could very likely be your body saying, you know what? I know those salad dressings aren't really good for me. And so I don't really want a salad. Could very much likely be that's what's happening with your body. And so if you take nice yummy greens, add all kinds of things, just experiment with it. Just having the ability to have more variety, that alone is going to make it way easier to eat more greens. And remember, two cups of greens, half a cup of veggies, there's three servings, three out of your five right there in one meal. Super easy. Oh, alrighty, friends, I hope you're hanging in there and uh, we will see you tomorrow when we talk a little bit more about my brain and where it goes when friends flake on me. <laughs> All right, hugs to everybody. Bye-bye now. It's time to head on over to couchtoactive.com and sign up for a session with me, yours truly, Lynn Lindbergh. That's couchtoactive.com.